I got a bunch of these baskets from the thrift store and I'm getting ready to clean them. So I just wanted to show you how I do that. Right now I'm just pulling all of the tags off. I have a little brush like this. You could take any kind of cleaning brush and then I have some soapy water in here. I just will give it a good rinse with water. I was really scared at first to do this because I thought, oh no, it's gonna like ruin it, but it, it actually doesn't, it's totally fine. And then I just um, take that soapy water with this brush and this brush gets in like all the little nooks and crannies. And then I just scrub. Once it's uh, pretty scrubbed, then I just go ahead and take the spray option and then just rinse it completely down and then I'll set it to the side over here and then I'll go set it out in the sun to dry completely and also just sanitize even more. If it doesn't ruin your basket. And then I'll just go ahead and do that with all the rest of the baskets. You can see they're pretty dusty from being at the thrift store, but this one does not have any tags. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you how I use all of these baskets. I am pretty obsessed with baskets and anytime I can find them, I always will snatch them up, especially if they're really cool shapes or just really cool designs. And I obviously, as you can see, hit the basket mother load at the thrift store when I went. And for all of these baskets, I got them all for $20. So I thought that was a pretty good deal and I actually really needed them for the house and you'll see uh, in a little bit, I'll show you what I use these baskets for and then also some of the other baskets I have in my house and some good uses. So that way if you ever find any baskets that are pretty cool looking at the thrift store, maybe this will inspire you, give you some ideas on how to use them in your home. So if any of you guys use baskets in your home, I would love to hear in the comments how you use them. I'll share uh, some photos at the end of the video like I said before, but uh, I'll just tell you really quick, I use them for so many different things in my home and I think they're so useful. So I uh, recently started using reusable toilet paper. I know some people might find that gross, but honestly if you know enough about it, it's actually not gross at all and I'd be happy to make a video if anyone's curious but so I use the baskets for using and like corralling our reusable toilet paper for the clean ones and the dirty ones we also use them um, I use reusable pads so I use them for that in my bathroom so uh, I use a lot of them in my bathroom I probably have like five or six baskets in my bathroom at a time 
And I also use them to um, store like hand drying towels for when you wash your hands. Um, I also use them for uh, fruits and vegetables in the kitchen to, you know, put my fruits and vegetables in. I have a garden, so I use them for harvesting. Um, we use them for toys in the house. Uh, it's a great way to kind of teach our kids how to clean up their toys. They put them all back in the baskets at the end of the day. I mean, the list goes on for arts and crafts, fabrics, you'll see in a little bit. But right now, I'm just laying out some blankets so that I can leave the rest of the baskets to dry in direct sunlight. So for those of you guys that don't know, the sun, if you um, use direct sunlight, it can actually help kill bacteria. Uh, so we use it on all kinds of things all the time. We're always putting stuff out in the sun to sanitize things, especially with everything going on in the world. Nobody wants to get sick. So just a little tip for you. And now here are some of the ways I use my baskets. hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here and so much for supporting this channel. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video.